Hello lovely people, I hope that you are all doing well. It is a Sunday and this morning I've been reorganising, moving things around, shuffling my preps around and going through some items on my to-do list. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to just quickly show you my prepper book um, and what I keep in there. So I've got a notes and info tab and a to-do list. So notes and info, uh, this is back when I first started and I was writing a mini to-do list, um, you know, under bed storage, clear out kitchen cupboards for storage, that sort of thing, just getting things just getting things started. Uh, I've got an items to always stock up on list and natural remedies to research, which I have not done. 50-ish items for grid down situation. This list was taken from Mama Bear Prepping. She's an, um, she has a channel here on YouTube. It's an American channel. All of her videos are so informative. She has such a wealth of knowledge. It's unbelievable. So I wrote all of them down and the ones I've ticked, obviously the ones that I've kind of kind of dealt with. Um, some of them aren't really top of my list or sort of like on my agenda. It is not really applicable. So books to be on the lookout for. So things in first aid, medicine, herbs, etc. You can see I've got a random to buy list here, which I pretty much have done. Um, yeah, uh, hand wash laundry system. I had a look on eBay. My God, they seemed so expensive. Um, I had to look ages ago, to be fair, and I can't remember how much it the, like what it was exactly and how much it was. But I think from memory, it was in the region of like 80 quid to 100 quid for a hand wash laundry system. And I was just like, no. I have a bathtub. I'm just going to wash my clothes in the bath if need be. It's I just can't really justify spending that much money on that. I have a list here of things to do in a SHTF scenario. So it's kind of like, you know, when it goes down, more or less a step-by-step -step guide of what to do. Again, this is taken from a video that Mama Bear Prepping did. Uh, another sort of to-do list, info list here, things to prepare before no internet or a cyber attack. Um, it's mainly sort of downloading information that, that, that you need and making a contact list for friends and family, which I've done. This is notes, again, taken from a video that Mama Bear Prepping did. Um, I really hope that I never have to use this, but I thought, you know what? In a real SHTF situation and absolutely all emergency services are just not running, not available at all. You are in a true, you are on your own situation. I thought this is going to be useful and it potentially could save your life it talks about you know ppe being safe um you know the the note right at the top there do not touch move remove unless necessary so i hope it never ever becomes to that situation for anybody but it is there if need be i'll try and um i'll try and find the exact video that she did and then keep down below because it, it was interesting, I'll say that. Um, oh, nuclear attack notes. Am I allowed to say that? Don't know. Um, yeah, with everything that you see in the news, I mean, I'm not sort of like absolutely freaking out about it, but I was like, do you know what? I don't actually know what to do. If, if there was an announcement like, oh, nuclear missiles are headed to, to the UK, I'd be like, well, I don't actually know what to do. So... I'm trying to sort of look into that. I mean, to be honest, if I was in like a, if I was that close to the fallout zone, I, you know, I'd probably not want to, uh, not want to know or not want to to carry on for much longer because I know that the, the poisoning and every and such can be absolutely horrendous. Um, so that's sort of it for notes at the moment. Um, onto my to do list. Um. I had a to-do list of recipes to learn and research. Bread. I can't make bread to save my life. That's just going to be a no-go. I'm just going to have to learn to live without bread unless I barter for it or it becomes a ration. I don't know. Granola bars. Never even tried those. Savoury biscuits. Not really top of my list, to be honest. Uh, food items to prep 
freeze basata sauce into cubes and put into ziplocs i do that all the time i know it's not going to be useful in grid down and i've got no freezer but it is what it is i've got here a purchasing plan and intentions list for month by month so oh, sorry september didn't really do a lot because i was away this month um Food and water is always going to be a top priority for me. I think for most people, I want to stock up more on canned fruit and veg. I think I'm also going to try and dehydrate some more fruit and veg as well. I've dehydrated some bananas. It was an absolute disaster. I just basically don't think I dehydrated them for long enough. Um, I did another batch of bananas last weekend. I need to vacuum seal those. I'm going to write that onto my to-do list. Vacuum seal bananas. Um, batteries. Mm, that's probably not really actually a top priority at the moment. Vacuum bags. I need to get some more uh, bags. Tupperware containers for rice and bay leaves. I've got a couple of bags of rice. I need to freeze them and store them. I actually don't know whether to use Tupperware containers or vacuum seal. I don't know. First aid kit. I need one for the home and I need one for the car. I've got medical bits and bobs, but um, they're in like one location. It's just basically, you know, like plasters, gauze um alcohol and antiseptic wipes but i want to get a proper first aid kit oh burns kit i didn't get that last week so that actually needs to yeah i need a first aid kit and a burns kit for the home and just a little one for the car i might to be honest i might just take some out of the supplies and just put it in a bag for the for the car speaking of car I want to put together a winter car kit. I got this idea from a Scottish urban prepper. He uploaded a video earlier this morning on questions that he gets asked. And one of the questions was, why does he prep or what is he prepping for? One of the things he mentioned was when people get caught out in their cars in like snowstorms, ice storms, something like that. And um, I think he was mentioned that they couldn't they couldn't keep their car on for warmth for one reason or another. Um, and I suddenly, it got me thinking that if I'm ever in a situation where I'm out in my car and like a really bad snowstorm just hits really aggressively, I thought I'll, I would ditch my car and walk home. I don't go out very often in my car. And when I do, it's to the grocery store or to work. My work office is about 15 miles from where I live. So I thought, okay, so if a bad storm, if I'm in the office and a bad storm hits and they send people home, I've got about 15 miles to walk. And I thought if I put in my boots, my hiking boots, um, but then I thought, actually, do I just get a pair of cheap wellies just to, just to throw them in the boot of the car rather than... Because I was thinking if somebody happens to steal my car... And I've got my hiking boots in the back. That I would miss my hiking boots more than I'd miss my car. Which I know probably sounds daft, but I love those boots. They're Scarpa. Um, they're like your quintessential brown leather walking hiking boots. And I bloody love them. And they're so comfortable and they are so warm. So, yeah, I don't know whether to go for boots or just, as I say, throw in a pair of cheap wellies. Um waterproof i've got a spare pair of waterproof trousers that i was going to chuck in a spare thick jung jumper and some socks a torch i was thinking about maybe getting another head torch if i can find a cheapish one on mm, probably mountain warehouse will have it they always have a sale on and then just water bottle and like protein bars or peanuts as a bit of a snack so this is you know this is not me like bugging out or anything this is me in a situation where it's like really bad snow and ice is hitting or you know and i'm just like screw this i'm leaving my car here and i'm walking home i would rather walk 15 miles home in the snow and, and you know sort of be getting somewhere than end up having to sort of stay in my car because the the route from my work to home is a major a road 
So chances are the being a lot of traffic, it won't be that bad. Hopefully it will get ploughed. And so this is probably like a really out there extreme situation. But just as I say, what Scottish urban prepper said on his video just got me thinking. Um, so this is my to-do list that I've been working on last weekend and a bit this morning. So check all my first aid kits replaced by missing used items. I don't really need to replace anything, but I just want to buy, uh, as I said, a brand new um, kit for the home and a little one for the car. Check and consolidate winter preps. So blankets, candles, matches, lighters, put in box. I've put them all together. Um, I only have two blankets. <laughs> I think I might actually hit the charity shops and all and just just see what else we've got in terms of blankets. No, I've got three. I've got three blankets if I count the I've got like a fleecy throw for my bed. Oh no, I've got four blankets. See I've got more blankets than I actually realised, but do you know what? I don't think you can have enough blankets, so I'm still gonna probably keep an eye out for blankets. Vacuum seals and bits and bobs, I did that. Right dates on the food, I did that. Food and water inventory and a cash and valuables inventory, I did that. Put I put a bin liner um, in the storage box where my vacuum sealed items are. I got a couple of black bin liners, cut them up and literally lined the whole box. Uh, it, keeps, it keeps fresher for longer apparently and that tip came from a comment that Grant made on a previous video so thank you for that. I, I think I said I was going to write, write it down and I did. Um, vacuum seal bananas that's what i put there so i've been doing a bit of work on my bug out bag earlier this morning on a on my bug out bag video grant left a comment and he put in some really really useful tips and i've been going through those so thank you for that grant that was really really helpful um so he suggested first aid kit put some antiseptic cream in yes um plastic cup to eat the mug shots from I don't have a plastic cup. I want to buy one of those collapsible ones. Again, I'm just looking out for a really, really cheap one. I'm thinking mountain warehouse or some sort of camping site. We'll, we'll have one of those. Purification tablets for water. I put in a packet of those this morning. Um, electrolyte powder and um, anti-diarrhea tablets powder. I need to get some of those. I do have some, but they're in like my sort of main medical preps and I don't want to um I don't want to put those in the bug out bag yeah I'm gonna buy gonna buy some for the bug out bag especially head torch yeah so I swapped out um I had like a small handheld torch and I've swapped that out for a head torch um as Grant said in the comment he said it's it's going to be easier to have a head torch um as opposed to a handheld torch because you've got your hands free so that was that was a really good point thank you vacuum seal um the feminine pads and underwear i tried to do this but the vacuum bags that i have at the moment they were just too small so i just gotta i've gotta buy some bigger vacuum bags which is on on my list there um and i put in a power bank and lead and i put in a tube of a super glue onto into my bug out bag so Oh, this is what I wanted to also buy. Travel size toothpaste, brush and shower gel for the bugger bag just to save a little bit of room. Another tip here, which I missed, get smaller notes and coins for the bug out bag. That's ongoing. I don't have any sort of notes and small change at the moment that I can swap out for, but I'll probably be doing that at some point this week. Um, I did food inventory last weekend, last Saturday, I believe it was. Um, and the reason that I did that, this is it, yes, here it is. So the reason that I did it is I was putting away some bits and bobs last weekend and I thought I've been buying all this food. I've got mashed potatoes, I've got rice packets, I've got noodles, etc., tinned meat, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, I actually don't know how much... I was like, I don't know what my inventory is. I don't know how much of everything that I've got. And I thought, I don't actually know how many meals I can make. You know, I've been buying all this food. Can I actually put it together into meals and stuff? So the reason that I did this food and water inventory is really to go through, um, which I think I'll do this afternoon, is to go through and think, right, 
Obviously, things like O packets and Weetabix packets, that's a breakfast. So my oat packets that I've got, I've just basically have got oats, um, decanted them and put them into a vacuum bag. I've put six cups in each bag and a portion, it says, is half a cup. So in each bag, I have six portions of oats. So that is six days and I've got 19. So whatever 19 times six is, that's how many like breakfast things I've got. And I've got other bits and bobs, um, breakfast bars as well. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to go through and work out, okay, you have this many breakfast items, um, you know, you've got this many dinner items and you can use these for, for lunch, basically. So that's on my to-do list. Um, yeah, so I think that that is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. And then I think, to be honest, I'm probably just going to take a bit of a break um, for the rest of the day. Um so if you want to let me know in the comments what is maybe top of your priority list um what what are you guys concentrating on at, at the moment that'd be good to good to know i think the uk prepper community is growing which is it's kind of bad and good in a, in a way it's bad that you need it well it's bad that people feel that they need to do this but it's good because we can um get together um i mean sort of like online swap ideas leave tidbits of information knowledge wisdom um so thanks for watching the video hope it wasn't too long and rambling and maybe has helped you i will post a video a link to mama bear preppers video um down below and i will see you in the next video